All right, let's take a look at our different types of data types, data structures that we have available to us in Redis. The first is strings, the most basic one, the most important one, because everything is basically strings at the end of the day here in Redis. Strings are binary safe, so they can contain data such as JPEG image, serialized Ruby objects. So they can represent different things. They can represent numbers, which is kind of odd. Uh, and strings have a max length of 512 megabytes to so get a lot of room there. Often you're doing a get in the set here. So you say get, uh, you know, get this uh, key and you get back that string, set this key with that value. So very simple to use. Um, strings can represent numbers. And so now you have these special functions for strings called atomic counters. So you can do things like increment, decrement, uh, increment by a certain amount. So very, very clear here. So notice it is a string, but we can increment it and now return 11 and it interprets it as a, an integer, which is um, uh, interesting there. So the most common string commands would be things like get, set, uh, append, depend would just uh, add something to the end of the string or check, check if a string exists based on a key, so it exists. You have lists, so lists are ordered collection of strings. Uh, they're not gonna give you a guarantee of unique, uh, uh, unique strings or unique uh, elements within that list there. So you can have duplicates, but um, you do things like L push, L range, it's kind of like having an array uh, in, in other languages. Here they're doing a range. Notice it does negative one, but it actually returns all of them. So that's kind of a trick there to uh, get all, all the elements in a range, but you could say like one to two and then it would re just return one and two. Common commands for lists would be L pop, R pop, L push, L uh, uh, pos, which is for position. So L pop would uh, remove the last element and return it uh, or on the left hand side. So the first one, R pop would be on the right hand side. So if you did an L pop, it would return hello. If you did an R pop, it would return world and also remove it from the list. L push would add a new thing on the end. L uh, pos is for getting a position. So you provide a string, it'll tell you its position in the list. Then you have sets. So seems like they're like lists, but they're unordered. So there's no guarantee that if you request the uh, stuff in the list, it's gonna be in the order that you expect it. But uh, the advantage though is that things are unique in the list. So if you push the same thing, if you add the same thing to that set, uh, like world twice, it'll only be there once. So that's when you need a unique amount of things in uh, a collection there. Most common commands here is s add. So add a member, s members, show us all the members, s move, move a member from, an, uh, from one set to another, s pop, similar to um, uh, r pop, uh, like what we saw with um, list. So just remove the, um, one or or multiple random members from a set. We have hashes. So hashes represent a mapping between string fields and string values. Um, Redis was originally uh, coded in Ruby, so they're basically like Ruby hashes. Um, but if you don't know Ruby hashes, there's JSON objects. You've probably seen those before. Ruby hashes, of course, Python dictionary. So the idea is that you set a you say, okay, I'm making a hash. I'm going to set a field, which is just a key. It's string field to uh, and its value there. So um, pretty straightforward. Common commands for hashes would be like h, h get to get a value, h del to delete a value, hm set to set multiple values, hm get to set uh, or to get multiple values, um, h vals to get only the values, h key or probably keys to get uh, only the, um, the fields, which are keys in this case here. We have sorted sets, so these are similar to um, sets, but um, they have an associated score. So when you add something, you use a Z add for this, but you put it, you give it a score like here, one, one, two. And uh, these are really great for leaderboards um, or where you need to sc score things and sort that way. So common commands here would be things like Z add to add something with a, with a certain score. Uh, Z rem is for removing. Z range is when you wanna return a, a range of elements in a sorted set score. Z rank would be return the rank of a member in the sorted set score, uh, 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 set sorted. So it's not giving you, I said sort, uh, stored, but it's sorted. So it's not giving you its score, it's giving you where it's ranked within the list. Um, and then you have Z score. And so that, that you provide um, uh, the, the value and it would tell you what its score is. So those are all the data types that you should get some hands on with. There are some interesting ones like stream and things like that, but uh, uh, this is pretty much the core stuff for Redis. Redis is not hard uh, to learn or use, um, so you just got to jump in there and use it, okay?